Welcome everyone to Wing Commander Academy. After Wing Commander 2 Secret Missions, the Origin team took a break from the mainstream Wing Commander games and they did a few experimental things. The first of these was Wing Commander Academy, which is really mainly a mission builder. Honestly, it could have probably been one more Wing Commander 2 expansion pack, but that's not what they chose to do. So this was released as a standalone game, and today we're going to do a little exploration, uh, talk about what this has, what it doesn't have, and what makes it interesting. So first off, this is the entire UI right here. You have Create mission, obviously. You've got some high scores. We'll talk about those in a minute. And previous and next mission, which is semi relevant. Got a configuration set over here. That's kind of about what you'd expect. Turn on the music, turn off the music and calibrate joystick. And if you go over here, you have the standard exit to DOS. So there is no story with this game. Um, what you basically have is a mission builder wherein you can pretty much build any basically take anything from Wing Commander 2 and fly it and build a mission around it. Uh, you also have one unique ship, the Wraith, which has leech missiles, which drain shields, plus a couple of heat seekers and some cannons. And the Drathek, which obviously is a Kilrathi ship. So you can pick your pilot, or you can pick your ship from everything that was available in uh, Wing Commander 2 and in the expansion packs. Uh, you can pick a wingman. You only have four wingmen. And then they each have kind of their, their own pluses and minuses. Pilot, skill, dogfighter, skill, and attitude. Hobbs is your best all-arounder. Angel is decent with a good attitude. Maniac is a great pilot with a terrible attitude. And Lightspeed, who's a new guy, is a bad pilot with a great attitude. Just go with Angel for now. So in this kind of mission area, you can build, basically you can, you go to various nav points. You can have up to four nav points. Uh, with nav one being the first point that you load into. So really you have your starting nav point and then three other possible locations. In this case, we've got a few Grikath and Drakri at Nav 2. Uh, and you can pick, again, any Wing Commander 2 ship. Karathi, Confederation, Fighter, Capital Ship. Plus asteroid fields, minefields, space stations, ejected pilots, and data pods. And just pick them, place them, and difficulty down here determines how many there are. So if I put one over here, that'll be one Sartha. Over here, because I had difficulty at four, that 
but four Sarth is there. You can have up to four. The other thing this has that I will fly in just a minute here, you have the gun. This is the only thing that resembles an actual mission that this game comes with. And, okay, well, I guess I'm going to fly that now. So the gauntlet is exactly what it says on the box. You versus wave after wave of Kilrathi. I think there's 15 waves overall. Alright, so level one is... Sartha, followed by one Drakri. Level three. Oh, that would be the new Draka. comes oh, this guy's a runner got it level two wave one and we are rearmed and refueled Now we've got two enemies. And Angel bagged one of them. Three Jolky this time. about wanting to kill me. That's too bad. Alright. Level 3, wave 1. Look out. 
this time. Well, I didn't mean to shoot at you, honey. Straka. Single most annoying. Not the most difficult to fight, but just annoying because they're stealthy. Alright, level 3, wave 3 is... Parents. Ah. I dumped both my impacts on him. Okay, level four. That's that new Wraith. It makes quite the noise. And it's fast. The Wraith uh, has five, does 500 kph, which is faster than anything else. So they at least gave you something interesting to play with. Right? Four wave two. I think he rammed into me at burner. All right, we got ooh, three sabers. Okay. So now this is turning into a challenge. a missile. And he rammed me. OK, 
Okay, well, level five. Okay, level five, wave two. And this time we've got more sabers. So it looks like just one saber. finished the job. Rod swords. Okay. Given the turret protection on broadswords, this is probably a good place for a boom and zoom. Well, they uh, took out poor Angel. Gonna use a mace, this is a place for that. Man, I actually got one of them. Six. And Angel's back. Angel's back. So we get our wingman back too. Too concerned by a Dorkathy. As long as you stay behind it. Crossbows a little bit 
bit more concerning, but can basically just boom and zoom them just like broadswords. Because just like broadswords, they don't have afterburn. with a morning star. Like we already have this fight with Jazz. It turned out the same way then, too. another wraith. missiles just ate all my shields in one hit. Can't eat a whole lot of damage though. Dracrith, whatever it is. Okay, this is a little more intense. Okay, give me the Emrex. Okay, wave three. Time to use all my missiles. Drakri, three Drakri. Okay, I'm less concerned now. Thank you. 
Okay, yeah, on to level 8. Angel got him. Two V two morning stars. Problem here is going to be making sure I don't snap shoot Angel by mistake. on the other one for a bit. Hmm, that might have been a mistake. Okay, that worked out all right after all. Here comes the third wave. Fortunately, it's just training. So that's the idea. Can again change your wingman, change your ship. This would definitely be interesting to do the gauntlet in a wraith or one of these things. Uh, then the other thing you can do is there are 24. There are 24 mission slots. And you can load missions into a directory and uh, people could create missions, pass them around. Uh, what I have is missions off of a disk that was circulated back in the 90s. So, for example, right, let's play Sector 237. 
There's no story or anything with these unless you wrote it yourself and then had it on the side. But the idea is you can build missions, you can pass them around. So let's try Sector 237 here. defaulted to a saber for this, which is fine and dandy. But let's fly Sector 237. for our wingman. Oh, boy, do we have a lot of hostiles. Drakri, we got Grikath. It's just a veritable smorgasbord of suck right here. And we're dead. Well, if you're gonna make a mission, naturally, people, we're gonna make challenging missions. So, that is really all there is to this game. Uh, you know, again, it you can play the gauntlet with as many ships as you want to try. From the list, there's a few mods out there. You can substitute in some other things that aren't in this list. Um... But yeah, it's, it's really, the replayability is really just based on if you can find missions that you want to try, or if you want to build your own missions. That's how it was, that's how it is. So, hope you enjoyed this, and uh, we'll be back next week with uh, more. Till then, like and subscribe, please. <laughs>